Quarter past the hour, welcome back to The Buzz and to our head drama today where we're talking about dreams and we asked you on our Facebook page to share your stressful dreams. Our dream expert, Lori Lowenberg, is in the house to help interpret them for you. Good morning again, Lori. Good morning. All right, so, um, you know, it's not all peaches and cream when we dream. Uh, I usually have pretty interesting, bizarre dreams, but they're not often stressful. But every now and then I do, I do get them. And, and you wake up, and I think that, for me anyway, that's the time when I really want to interpret them. Because then I think there's clearly something nagging at you most yes. of the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, let's look at some of the dreams that were sent in by our viewers. Robert Wallace says, uh, his are about elevators, and some of them he's falling down the shaft. Ooh, okay. The elevator to your dreaming mind is your ability to move on up to the next level in life or in career or in relationship. Right. If you're falling or the elevator isn't working, you are struggling getting up to the next level in waking life. But falling in particular is most often connected to suffering a letdown, something that just didn't work out. And so you go, oh, you emotionally crash. Okay, so look for that thing in your real life that may be causing that and then try to address it head on. Yeah, you'll yeah. be able to connect it to what the issue is and then it, your dream's telling you it's time to find a different way to move on up. Okay, um, Brandy Gasson writes in and says, uh, my legs are really heavy, it's hard to walk. I can feel myself trying my hardest to drag them with each step. I admit, I've had this dream myself every now and then. Yeah, that's a common one. Um, now, whenever something's heavy in a dream, it's connected to some issue that's weighing heavy on you in waking life. Therefore, it makes it hard for you to, I, I bet in her case, it's moving on from something. Okay. But it could also be progressing in some area because your legs are your ability to stand up for yourself as well as your ability to move forward in yeah. a direction you want to go in life. I've had a hard time just moving on from my senior year in college all these years because it was a blast. I can tell that about you. Yeah. Uh, okay, and bra Diane Brandt says, every so often I'll have a dream in which I'm being chased, and just as I'm about to get caught, I fly up to the roof of the home I grew up in, then the dream kind of ends. Interesting. Okay, the being chased dream is super, super common. It usually happens when there's something going on in waking life you're trying to avoid. Maybe there's a confrontation you need to have. Maybe there's an issue you just don't know how to deal with it, so you ignore it and avoid it and hope it will eventually go away. Yeah. Now her dream is also giving her advice in the form of being able to fly. And that's telling her you need to rise above this fear right. and deal with it and get on top of the situation, which is why she lands on top of the roof. And I would think maybe house. her childhood home is some sort of safe base, right? It's sort Probably. Of or something sort of safe In and most comforting. cases, the childhood home is about the need to have someone take care of the situation for you. Because back then, our, everything was taken care of for Check us. out Lori's book, Dream On It, at HeadDrama.com. Today's Head Drama is brought to you by Sleep Number, the only mattress that adjusts on each side to your individual comfort preference. Find your nearest Sleep Number store at SleepNumber.com.